What's good, YouTube and Life Gainers? Today we're discussing, is a commercial worth it for your business? And we'll look at the first commercial I did with the CW for our old child care business and showcase. The thing you got to keep in mind when you start a new business and if you register with any of the local business affiliations, the commercial people are going to be hot and on you, heavy and hard. And you got to make a decision on if it's worth it to get the commercial or not. We'll discuss it after you see my first commercial. And if you're just now finding my channel for the first time, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so that you'll be down with the Life Gain Notification Squad. Let's take a look at my commercial. Tyson Place is a new child care center here on the east side of the community of Greensboro, North Carolina. And what we're trying to do is institute a quality program, a program that meets developmental appropriateness. And we're trying to offer diversity for all children, meaning that we also accept special needs children. I just believe that um, working here, that kids are afforded the opportunity to just go further in their education. So we began by working with the six week old, just teaching them the basics of ABCs, uh, color, shapes, and just going forth. Well, I chose it for my child because my child, he has an autism and this place specializes in caring for children with special needs. And I'm very confident that this is a place that, you know, my son has been excelling since I've been here. Since he's been here, I've seen the excelling and the, the teaching and the actual working that they've done with my child. There was just a huge need in the area to serve that population because no, not a lot of child care centers in the area except special needs kids. Uh, there are a lot, a lot of abilities. Um, a lot of people don't have the special equipment you need. A lot of places don't have the therapists that can come in and work with the children. And so in just going out and about and working in the community as a respiratory therapist, I saw this building come about, and I thought to myself, this could be an opportunity for me and my family to make a difference for the community and do what we can to serve special needs kids and make it an inclusion center. This is actually a place that's getting children prepared for regular school. So some of the things that they teach the children here, they have already, it's kind of give them a heads up when they start regular school. We run a curriculum called the Creative Curriculum which gives specific developmentally appropriate guidelines that these children should meet. And that is very important because there is more and more information that says early child care is a great intervention to success for an adult. So we really believe in giving the education in early child care in our center so that these children can go off to elementary school and be productive. At Tyson's Place, your children will enjoy an environment outside that includes all natural play environment, which means everything around here was built from the wood right here in the local area. Uh, we don't use standardized outdoor equipment because we want to be creative and come up with something that will kind of take kids back to the basics. Back to the basics means everything that we have out there has been made from the wood around the area, and it's all creative things that are appropriate for children to help incite creativity for the children. Tyson Place does employ an after-school program. Uh, we have transportation to pick kids up from their current schools. An after-school program makes it our merit to have these children getting their homework done and completed. We feel it's very important that when a child goes home to the parent, that time can be spent with the parent, and all the parent has to do is review the homework. So when they get here, we'll give them a snack, something healthy and organic, give them time to get their homework, make sure that that's done. Then we give them activity time so they can get some of the energy out from the rest of the day and really get their legs stretched and that we're meeting their physical needs to play. Tyson Place Child Care Academy is going to have an extensive summer camp program that's going to involve several trips, um, several educational trips, and a good quality setting for the children to meet their educational needs as they're out for the summer. We plan trips to King's Dominion, the zoo, the pool, and public settings that can give children enrichment throughout the summer. Here at Tyson Place, we're confident that we can meet all the needs. What you're looking at now is some of the most popular commercials that ever summit Super Bowls. And 
people spend two or three million dollars on commercials to try to get exposure and to try to drive people to their business. The caveat to that is these are your big national corporations. When you're in small business, it doesn't always pay off to do a commercial. So with the commercial I did, we spent about $4,000 to basically have that commercial show on the CW in the triad area of North Carolina for three months. The return on our investment, we got three clients from those commercials. That's it. We did so much better on campaigns that involve social media from Facebook to we did a little Twitter and we did a whole lot of community events. We got most of our clientele through the community events, through Facebook and through just generally networking in the community and that didn't cost us anything. Now it looked good to be on TV. It looked good to kind of spread your word and it felt good. They presented a nice package. I mean, they had a bow that was velvet on that little deal. They had us going to this little expo. That's what the long version of that commercial was for, some expo they did. But the return on investment was minimal. And that was a big lesson that I learned as a young entrepreneur that sometimes a commercial is not worth it, especially if you're just gonna be doing something in a local area. You're best served to get out, mingle with people, pass out business cards, and really, really work your social media. Now, we're not in business doing the childcare anymore. Thankfully, the smart thing we did with our business plan was we bought the franchise and we also bought the commercial space that the franchise was being held in. So now we just basically lease out that space to other childcare organizations. But when you first get involved, weigh your options. Don't let the commercial be the first thing you do to try to get your name out there. The first thing you should be thinking about social media, websiting, and networking. And that's gonna do it for this video. Hoping I can help you young entrepreneurs out there get that life gain and saving yourself some money. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life gain. Don't fall for the lust and the temptation of a commercial until you get multinational. If you're just gonna be a small business in a local area, get out, mingle, and get to know your people and that's going to better serve you more than a commercial. And until the next sexy as hell video, I'll see you. Enjoy the content on my channel. Please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by life gains.